turbos. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go grab a bang if there's any left. Oh, that's for me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I appreciate that. <laughs> You're the man. Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys saw the last video, then you know that we put tires on Jack's GT350R, but we have a, I'm gonna call 15 hour road trip. We're actually up here in Texas, and we're gonna be heading back to my neck of the woods, Tennessee. So, a bit of a road trip, but all for the better part of this build. It's gonna be a lot of fun because we're about to throw some big old twin turbos on this car. Gonna be the first one in the world with a comp air-cooled 64, 67 on a GT350R. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. But we have a lot of road to cover, long trip. Let's get to it. I'm gonna sell my house, I'm gonna buy one of these. <laughs> it's, it's, it's real talk. I'm gonna do a second mortgage on my house and I'm gonna own a 350R. Just you watching, you wait and you see. <laughs> gotta take the house. <laughs> I mean, I'll live in the car. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know, my wife may leave me, but it's all good. Yeah, we'll figure it out. If you're new to the channel, I have a 2019 10R80 Mustang GT. Uh, it's got a heavy build on it. Hell Horse Twins, same one that we're actually going to be installing on this car here. But this one is the manual, of course. Now, you guys know I've had a lot of seat time in a. I need a seatbelt. I don't know. I, I keep saying it. If I had a 2020 GT500 base model in front of me and an R, I'd probably pick the R just because at least you still have a manual. But this is going to be a lot of fun, man. Manual? Yeah. Big twin turbos? This has been months in the making, but I'm going to cover a bunch of it. Please go check out Determined Veteran and his YouTube channel. Give him some love over there. Watch his videos because this is his build. This is his car. And I'm, uh, yeah, a little bit jealous. Just there's something crazy special about a 350R. I don't know what it is. The 350R is like a, a track weapon, you know? There's going to be some purists out there who's going to hate on it. They're going to call me a moron, idiot, whatever. You're chasing YouTube views, whatever, man. And, and like everyone who knows me knows that all my money that I make on my channel go back into disabled veteran charity. Yeah. So I let them hate all they want. Let's do it. Time to go fast. It, it is time to go fast. Time to go fast. Time to go fast. Now it's for working. <laughs> all right, let's try Take this again. Three. Take three and action. All right, we are here. Uh, took a little bit of a detour from Texas back to my house. We're gonna actually stop up here, more for a social call. Don't know if we're gonna film a whole lot up here and uh, just kind of hang out with Gavin, it's just a six. Yeah, we're here. Holy crap. It looks so big on, uh, on screen. Yeah. It's just a little shop. Yeah. Look at all this, look at that. There's the Viper, there's everything. So yeah, I'll bring the camera with me. I don't think we're gonna be filming much though. You ready? I mean, we're born ready, man. Let's do it. It's a little, the, the uh, manifold's a little different than mine. And you'll have to figure out because eventually Jeff's gonna send us catch cans. Mm -hmm. They're gonna fit right there. Okay, so what you're gonna do is like cap this one off here. Yep. And then you're gonna cap this one off. This one comes directly out of the intake manifold. Intake manifold. Feeds through here and then that goes back and feeds to the to brake, the brake booster. booster. Feeding the block from right here. the side. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, this extra port. And you I have heat. center open atmosphere just like mine. Yeah, but I, I heat wrapped all this stuff just because it, it gets pretty hot in there. Vacuum's pretty simple on this. And of course on this one, the intake manifold runners are locked out. Oh, okay. So you um, deleted just, okay, I did the yeah, same. Yeah, all the, the CMV, all that, all that stuff. That's why you've got this gone. other capped off. Yeah, that's why it's missing all of your yep. valving and everything that would normally be back here and taking all this up. Uh, Toyo's on mine. Yeah, it's a great option for these, honestly. I got, I got the alignment fixed. Yeah. And what, uh, what, what width did you go with? Stock or over stock? Uh, two, 325 in the back. Going to. I gotta get those. Yeah, get some DEI, the turbine wraps. So you got some knot protection there. We are here ready to do a twin turbo install. GT350R. A little bit different of a kit. Jack is actually going with an air cooled setup, which is really cool. We'll show you in just a second, but we're working on the layout. This is what you get when you order from Hell Horse Performance, one of the turbo kits. This is a GT350 and it comes with a six core intercooler and it's massive. It's a little bit bigger than mine. And this whole kit right here is rated for somewhere in the ballpark of like 1600 wheels. Pretty much uh, army style layout so we can inventory and inspect get everything ready to go We actually have a lift this time, which is pretty sweet. What do you think? Is it lost for words? It just needs to be on there Oh, it will be. It will be. It's gonna have a lot more power. Guys, I do not know why I don't own a GT350R. Because you're broke and you can't afford it. Ah! Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> um, incredible car. You're not the twin turbo kit. I'm not the what? You're not the twin turbo kit. They don't want to see you yet. Well, but you're aiming the camera at me. I know, but you like, <laughs> I was panning this.
If you are interested in something like this, links in the description for discount codes. Use code Xander13 at checkout. You're especially going to send. Uh, no, I can't. Here, give me the camera. I'll, I'll take over for you. Alrighty, guys. So if you want to borrow this kit and yeah, anything yeah. else, use code Xander13 at checkout. It will save you give some money. Up. He's gonna use that too. I will use that. I will, you know I'll use that. We're gonna get started finally, guys. Ah, uh, come closer. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah, you good. Straighten your wheel. Should be good. This is... This is the air-cooled right there. So I got the fans on the side, and uh, you got that relief hole, so it let some heat out. Still have to lube these up with the Zerk fitting, like mine, every uh, two, 3,000 miles with the uh, proprietary high temperature grease that comes from comp and it seems to work very very well oil pump gears crank sprocket first cheap insurance what two three hundred bucks guys so uh boundaries who we're going with it's only a high quality piece so a lot of stuff has to come off all of this short tower brace is going to come off and we are also going to do a imrc lockout same as mine i do everything on jack stands not nope nope not this time we're going to be professional about it this intake manifold is going to come off the rails are going to come off for the fuel placed with fic 1000 injectors same in my car uh definitely check out fuel injector clinic been awesome love them great company this is such a good tire toyo r triple eight r oh i got one for you i got one you're gonna love this oh, oh you play him oh yeah, yeah. but yeah doug man he's a good dude this spinner liner oh, out yeah. this will be coming off <laughs> this looks like my tool chest well you know when we take the belly pan off we'll get to it yeah, yeah. Why in the hell did you put a push pin yep. in the belly pan when there's uh, screws holding it? Good job, Ford. Makes me want to buy a Camaro. Uh-oh. All righty. That sounds super healthy coming out. You might have cross-threaded that mug. Yeah, that's in there. Who put the belly pan on last? Uh, Not it. Y'all ain't seen nothing. No. Turbos. 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 Uh, what else, what else, what else? Well, drive shaft, axles. No. No? no. no. What are you going to do? I think it's a black damage thing. Oh. Oh, no! That's right, there's no way I'm getting my hands in there. No, no, no. What's up? What's up? What's the matter? Yeah, so I've got the one there. you got bought all of them. There's one. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. So yeah. when I do it, y'all can't come. Just I got bad luck. I can't touch it. Don't be scared. I ain't scared. Just don't be scared. So when we pull this, you got the. Uh, I got you. Yeah, right here. I got to unscrew oh, okay. this. Why y'all holding it? Uh, is there a nut back there? No, no. no. I just screwed it straight into the bolt, man. Uh, got it. Now uh, she comes on Clippy. Gonna make sure you don't clip all the that clip right there. Yep, crash bar's coming off, guys. Uh, all of this is actually gonna come off and get deleted. It's got a massive six core intercooler that's gonna sit right there. The brake ducts are also getting deleted. They're getting deleted. Yeah. Look at all that support. All, Look at all this. What are you doing with this? Uh, it's gonna come off. This intercooler is pretty. I think that's why they designed it that way. Anything you want as much airflow, especially the turbo car, as much as possible. I mean, it's really anything that's high horsepower like that. It's breathing. So fun. this has got to come off. Button everything. Oh, Xander. There you go. Thanks, sir. Oh, okay, we got plastic holding it. We gotta get some, uh, that's got some structure there. A lot of stuff here. I mean, I know it's coming off, but I don't want to break it either. <laughs> With a whole lot of push pins. Yeah, this intercooler, guys, is just massive. Yeah, so we'll have to relocate that wire, but it'll be angled like that. It's absolutely massive. So, uh, mine is a little skinnier. Lots. It's just tall. It's like the whole... The whole mouth of the car is integral. It's massive. That's going to wrap up this video. We have uh, come a long way. We're going to call it a night so that way we're not working when we're tired and come back and uh, right in the morning we're going to start uh, wool pump gears. We have officially begun the teardown. Twin turbo install is happening tomorrow morning. So big, big things coming, guys. Lots more videos. This is just the first one. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next video. Thank you.